Reporting from the Q Television Center with news from your region, we are the first for news that matters to you locally, regionally, and nationally. This is QTV News. With your latest Q Lifestyle News update, I'm Bob Huggins. A man jailed for shooting dead his ex-lover in a Port Stewart laundrette has had his murder conviction quashed. Fred McLenahan will now face a retrial over the killing of Marion Milliken. No further details of the decision can be reported for legal reasons. Judges directed that a fresh trial should now be held on the murder charge, possibly as early as mid-February. A former resident of a children's home in Northern Ireland has told the historical abuse inquiry that a priest told him he was the product of an evil and satanic relationship. The witness, the son of an unmarried mother, lived at St Joseph's in Termenbacca in Derry in the 1950s, which was run by the Sisters of Nazareth. He said he became a zombie, introverted and feared the next beating. The urban regeneration company Ilex has claimed an ambitious plan to develop the Ebrington site in Londonderry could create almost 2,500 permanent jobs. Proposals have gone on display as part of a public consultation which runs until the middle of March. The site in the waterside area of the city was one of the main spaces used during the UK City of Culture Year. Ilex says the proposals allow for a cinema, a concert space and cafes. Well, you can keep up to date by logging on to Q Lifestyle or by tuning in to Q Radio. Good evening.